For the first time ever, someone has summoned me to put down some tomfoolery, so that is what I'm here to do. <sighs> Where even do I start with this piece of hot garbage? Okay, so first off, Simpsons predictions, they aren't a thing. The Simpsons in their 30-ish year run have maybe predicted, like, 20 things? The only reason the Simpsons predict stuff is because they've been going on for so long and have so many jokes per episode that statistically, some of them are going to become true. They didn't know ahead of time Donald Trump was going to be president, it was just a silly joke they put in an episode because they put hundreds of silly jokes in hundreds of episodes and just every once in a while one turns out to be correct. The only reason One Piece doesn't have more correct predictions about the future than The Simpsons is because One Piece is set in a different world so its predictions for the future are set in its own universe. The people in the comments of this video seem to think The Simpsons is like the second coming of Christ. They're like, oh, it's all planned and The Simpsons is telling us ahead of time. They seem to think there's some evil government plan to cause mass powder outages and blame it on the sun, probably so the Democrats can take more control of the world or something. And some true patriot is sneaking all this into The Simpsons so the average man can find out and prepare. Now, Simpsons aside, let's get to the second part of the video, which is talking about an actual real thing that's happening. There's this massive hole in the sun called the Coronal Hole. First of all, it's called a Corona Hole, and that's not the name of this hole. It's a title. Corona Holes are a thing that happens. They happen a lot. In fact, we get several Corona Holes a year. They're a semi-common thing. They're like sunspots. They're just a thing that happens to the sun. Corona Holes are just a place where the sun's magnetic field is weaker temporarily because the sun is a big boiling ball of physics. The sun is in its solar maximum, which basically means it's doing more sun stuff than usual. The sun has an 11 year cycle, and during the peak, it does the most stuff. So, should it be super worried about this giant hole in the sun that's spewing out stuff at a massive rate? Not particularly. This happens all the time. Yes, when there's a giant Corona Hole, there is more solar activity, and it can cause problems with electronics. The biggest one was in the 1800s, and we haven't had one that big since, but a few things have changed since then. The biggest being, we know about what the sun can do, and we can predict when they happen. And a lot of our electronics are at least partially shielded against this kind of garbage. The worst you can expect is probably radio will go down, and the northern lights will be way more south than usual. That's about it. If there is going to be some catastrophic solar storm, we will know way ahead of time. Because NASA can literally see them coming, because the speed of light is so much faster than the speed of a solar flare or a geomagnetic storm. So, to recap, A, the Simpsons did not predict anything, and B, there are no solar storms that are coming up that are going to be 60 times more powerful than the Carrington event. At worst, some radio and communication stuff will go down temporarily, and people in, like, New Mexico will be able to see the Northern Lights. That's it. It will not be a catastrophic end-of-the-world scenario, and even if it was, the Simpsons didn't predict it, you dummy.